Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the spark module in the Thermador range. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 13 16 second wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new spark module and the instructions. The spark module is an electronic control board that ignites the burners by producing the sparks. It's located inside the cooktop in the right rear corner. If there's no clicking sound and no sparks when you turn the burner knobs, it's time to check the spark module and replace it if needed. We need to remove both grates. Just lift them off and put them somewhere out of the way. Next, we're going to remove the burning caps. Simply lift them off. Now we need to remove these uh, four nuts that hold the bases. I'm going to use a 13 16 uh, wrench, socket wrench, and I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. We got lucky because uh, a lot of times these nuts won't go out that easily. So we normally would use the uh, blowtorch or in some cases we even need to file down the top completely so we can remove the burner. And now we're going to remove all four burner bases by just lifting them up. I'm going to place a towel on the rear panel to protect it from scratching. I'm going to pull forward the cooktop to unlock it. And then we're going to lift it slowly, make sure that the, uh, those wires are long enough. And we're going to place it on that uh, towel so we can work on the side. So next we're going to take a couple of Phillips screws that holds the cover. And now we can lift up the cover Now we need to remove this uh, single Phillips screw that is securing that uh, plug. I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver, going to take it out. And uh, don't forget about the plastic washer. We're going to reuse it. And now we're going to pull the plug. Next, we're going to loosen up this Phillips screw. You don't have to take it out. On the opposite side, we're going to loosen up this Phillips screw. And we can uh, slide this uh, tab off the uh, spark module. Now we can slide the spark module towards the back of the range. So we can free that end here. And then, we need to do the uh, little uh, uh, memorizing. We need to memorize which wire goes to which connection here. So they all marked on the spark module as uh, from S1 to S4. And they have uh, different colors. So best of all, if we can uh, take a picture. And another picture from the top. And then I can disconnect the wires. Black, white, orange, and red. This is the old spark module next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Before discarding the old one, I would like to point your attention to a very important thing. As you can see, we have only four outlets here on the old one, and we have six outlets on the new one. The old one has been discontinued, so we need to use the new one, and I will show you how to use it. 
All right, this is uh, two spark modules. This is the old, this is the new one. And as you can see, we have a terminal marked from S1 through to S4. And the new one has S1 through S6. So we're going to ignore S5 and S6, and we're going to connect the same way as they were connected on the old one, same color code. All right, so I'm going to keep the old one next to the new one for the reference. And then we're going to start plugging the wires. So we're going to go to S1, which was a red. Then we're going to S2, which was a white. Then we go to S3, that would be this one. That's orange. And the last one, S4, which is a black. So we're now going to install this uh, new Spark module. I'm going to lift that uh, washer up. And we're going to slide the Spark module under. And we're going to tighten that screw with a Phillips screwdriver. So next, I'm going to swing the tab onto the spark module. And then I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver, going to tighten it. Now we can connect the power plug. Make sure that all the pins are in engaged. Push it in all the way. And then we're going to secure it with this uh, Phillips screw with the plastic washer. Now we can install the cover back on. Uh, these three tabs goes into the three cutouts. All right. And now we can secure it with the uh, two Phillips screws. And now we can lower that uh, the cooktop. Put it, put it down and uh, slide it back. We can remove the towel now. Next, we're going to reinstall the four burner bases. As you can see, the two pins are not symmetrical, so one is closer to the edge, and it goes towards the igniter. We're going to place the rest of the uh, bases the same way. And now we're going to install a venturi nut. And now we're going to tighten them with a 13 16 socket wrench. And now we're going to place the burners back on uh, the two larger one and two smaller one. So this little piece goes into the notch and it locks in. Now we're going to replace the grates. And now when we're done, you can plug the wrench back in. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.